All right, welcome to What is High Ticket Closing, part three. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what that actually is. So it's not always being the cold calling, uh, desperate, scammy salesman, which you know, in one of my gigs, uh, which I got, because I closed the influencer to help me get out my job, but the trouble is they were starting out, they were selling some kind of, I think it was an internet thing. Something like a website upgrader. So for people who are in their 40s, 50s, they needed to have their website upgraded in some way. So yeah, I mean, that gig for me didn't really go so well because, I mean, what were these prospects? I mean, yeah, it was B2B outbound and that was not that great to be to be direct with you uh if i was doing that for any longer i would have probably jumped off a building because i mean i got no's i got rejections uh it was horrible yeah it was it was so so brutal that i didn't actually close any of these people and uh, yeah and also I think because back then my voice kind of sounded too uh, dominant, but in fact, I wasn't even that skilled closer at the time, like earlier in the year. Um, so then basically what happened was uh, I just somehow ended up crumbling. Even though before then I've been doing a bit of training and stuff, I had doing quite a lot of practice. Yeah, and I think that maybe it was the wrong gig for whatever skill I had been learning, which was more like the inbound. Because the trouble is, back in those days, uh, we we did have like you know the very bad gigs that were available, which now in HTC you will find it is getting more easier. Uh, so yeah, after that gig didn't work, I went for another influencer interview and they turned me down and I felt like I hadn't really done enough to prepare for it and then uh, after that I found another influencer just by chatting in a Facebook group and uh, long story short that didn't work out either before those gigs I was working with Team Live Rich you heard of Kevin David so I worked with them for a week, but thought I'd got a sale, but then I didn't. Uh, which was pretty shit, so that was outbound. And then the other one I did with this other closing team I joined. Yeah, we were doing an outbound gig for Queen Ophir um, to get sponsors for her. But the trouble was, yeah, even that didn't work out for us either, so... Even as a team, we were struggling together, which was great. I mean, as long as I wasn't struggling on my own, I mean, that's uh, one thing that I was happy about, joining a team that was kind of within HTC itself, you know. Um, or Dan Lok's inner circle, as you'll probably hear about a lot later on. Um, but yeah, what high ticket closing isn't, is not doing cold calls and calling people at uh, certain times like interrupting them we are talking about inbound appointments you have a service you have a product of your own you want to help someone solve a problem not having the service and then calling people up to see if they have a problem yeah which most of Dan's training revolves around the inbound. Not so much like outbound sales. If you want to go outbound sales, I'm sure there are plenty of other teachers that could help you with that. But anyway, my third gig. Now this one. Um, tell you what, I was text blasting and it was literally just cold calling as well. And uh, a couple of the people I'd got appointments for myself while well, I didn't actually close. And 
the other appointments, the other closer, he, he closed them, but he couldn't, yeah, he couldn't get them into the credit form or something, because, I mean, you know, there was no loans available for them at that time, because it just sort of runs by, we find out if the banks approved them or not, and if they didn't, they wouldn't be a fit. Which, uh, yeah, with that gig, I just thought, no. It's not worth it closing, for, like, old broke people into a 20k program. Good, good product. But, you know, I did think in the end, you know what, I've got to fire the influencer. And because I've been doing cold call in a while, I thought, well, you know what, like, I would rather be learning from Dan Locke than you know, getting knocked about in the real world and not making any money. So I realized, you know what, I've got a YouTube channel. I've probably got lots of learning material I can go through. So I thought, well, I'd rather work hard for a few months than have to suffer under that pain of just working hard for a long time and then never actually getting there and then the learning curve taking a lot longer <clears throat> so I mean let me be direct here I mean if I was working with a crappy influencer with crappy prospects you know what I would jump off a fucking building yeah I would rather jump off a fucking building than work with a shitty influencer to be honest, I'd rather work with a good one. They have a good system in place that can actually get prospects in. They've got something like a simple sign-up form, and then all you have to do is just bring the closing skill, and then it's plain sailing from there, and, and also, yeah, just qualifying prospects on what the influencer wants you to qualify them on as the closer. So I know in my last video I explained on commissions, what you could get from working with an influencer. And also, I think there was something else that I was going to explain, the importance of the communication. Because how you communicate on the phone is the importance of if you get the sale or not. Which actually I knew that if I was close then whatever I was doing was paying off, so I just need to, I just needed to step out of the closing real world and just do more. So, I'm gonna let you think on that note. If you wanna be ending up doing outbound sales and not getting nowhere, not knowing the communication that you have to use, or even if you're doing inbound and then not closing a single appointment or just getting a fluke close or loads of missed appointments so what's it going to be my friend you can choose to be a lone wolf or you can choose to have a mentor Dan Lock mentor you for a few weeks so you can be the best version of yourself and become the high ticket closer that you always dreamed of becoming. So I'm going to leave you with this one. And the next video will be high ticket closing part four.